Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 4th. Welcome to another daily inspiration. January, the first month of a new year. And a new year always brings new promises. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to offer more inspiration as well. Inspiration for healing and moving forward in our grief journeys together. As I always say, although we will never completely heal from our loss, we will move forward and know that we too have a life ahead of us and a whole new year now to let hope and healing come to us. All the while with our lost loved one in our hearts and in our souls. Now, today's daily inspiration comes from a well-renowned and very followed 13th century Persian poet, scholar, and theologian, Jalal ad-Din Muhammad Rumi, or better known just by Rumi, who lived from 1207 to 1273 AD. Now, Rumi gave us the following words of grief wisdom. He wrote, Grief can be the garden of compassion. If you keep your heart open through everything, your pain can become your greatest ally in your life's search for love and wisdom. Now, Rumi's words, or his meaning for me, might be more difficult for those early in grief. Maybe, maybe not, since we all grieve on our own timeline. But for me, early on, I didn't know what the future held. I, I lost my 16-year-old son and only child to a heart defect. A large part of my life was being a father to Jonathan. I wasn't a mean guy before his loss, but I didn't believe then that compassion was something I, I consciously aspired to. And I wasn't concerned with seeking love and wisdom after I lost him. I was feeling pains at levels I thought would never end. But as I moved down the path of healing, I met and became friends with so many others who'd experienced loss and noticed a common characteristic with almost all of those whose loss was several years in the past. They were incredibly compassionate. They had been through the fire just as I had. And also, just like me, many had had very hard hearts early on, only to have others who'd also been through the fire reach out a hand to them and they told me how that opened their hearts back up. And it would begin to work on opening mine as well. See, I discovered that love never dies. We don't lose the unconditional love we had for the one we lost. And once the heart begins to open, we long to feel the compassion and do something with that love again. It wants to be used. It has to go somewhere. And we learn how to do that. We learn wisdom how to feel and give out our love again. The pains of grief teaches us and it becomes our greatest ally for love and wisdom. And we learn that by giving support to others who may be walking down the same path of healing as you and I, that it feeds what Rumi taught us in the Garden of Compassion. May you always keep yours well tended. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers and maybe maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. 
If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose. Thank you.